Okay, so yesterday I did a video and showed you how to connect Reaper on one machine to Titan on another machine over RTP, which is a MIDI network adapter, which again works only from Titan version 12 on and you need some proper MIDI hardware, I have um, some proper Avaloids hardware, in my case I have um, Titan 2 in order to enable USB MIDI. Okay, and today we are working on, on this and going to improve a little bit. One thing is, if you stop Reaper right now, it goes back to zero in Reaper. Have a look. This is my Reaper computer and here it is at zero. But in Titan, it is at uh, the last time it played. So again, if I run it, it jumps back to zero and runs from there in Titan. But when I stop it or pause it, it just stands still there, but does not reset there. But in Reaper it resets. So this is one thing we have to improve. And we can do so by a little uh, plugin for Reaper. Um, by the way, I put everything into the wiki, and you find it as always at www.slashavolatsde wiki, and then you can search for Reaper, or you go straight to the external control section. And if you scroll down, you can do the quick one, go to try it out and scroll down only a little bit because you have everything described here. So like with screenshots and descriptions and there is also Reaper doesn't generate timecode when being stopped or paused. There is a little plugin available called VVIMTC which circumvents this. Download the plugin from the Reaper website. Now I toggle back to the Reaper machine and there we can do the same thing. Here we go. Okay, so try it out. Scroll down a little bit. Now we go to the um, forum of Cocos. Cocos is a company who sells Reaper. And there you can download the VVIMTC generator, which stands for Virtual Vertical Interleaf MIDI Timecode Generator. Okay, we download this. Here we go. Then it is described further down how to install that. So you have to copy it to a special folder. I show you how to get there. This was the folder, but open a Windows Explorer. Go to percentage, app data, percentage sign again, enter. Now you are in a hidden folder, which is user app data roaming. There you is the folder Reaper. There is the folder effects. And into that folder, we drag and drop the, um, uh, the file we have just downloaded, which is, where is it here? Just drag and drop it there. Here we go. VVIMTC generator text. It's just a text file, a JavaScript text file. This is number one we have to do. Number two in Reaper. We do as follows. The existing um, timecode track can be deleted or at least muted. We mute it here. Then we make a new track, track, and insert new track. 
then on this track we go to the effects section these are all the effects which I installed we can narrow it down just by the filter VV because it is called VVIMTC where is it all plugins not there Oh, it's not there. Um, maybe because I did not uh, restart Reaper, I guess. Let's try again. At no, not there. Oh, not a problem, as always, because I do my videos live on tape. Uh, it's quite usual that sometimes things do not uh, work as expected and I'll show you how to fix this. Um, save project, okay. Start Reaper again. Add FX. VV and here we go. Yeah, it was just uh, in that Reaper needs to be restarted when we change something in the background. Okay, this is our plugin. You can change the frame rate, you can change the timing. That's it. So we have the plugin enabled, the effect enabled, which is green lighted here. What we also need to do is to route the MIDI to the correct output, either because this is a newer version than yesterday. Yesterday we had a special button there to change the output routing. Here, either you right click here on the volume button or you go to the routing um, button here, route, and click there. And there you can set the MIDI hardware output we set this to RTP, what we set up yesterday. And finally, you need to record um, this track by clicking on the red button. Okay, now it is record armed. And now if we uh, go to Titan, where is my Titan simulator? There. And now I start Reaper and fingers crossed it runs. And as soon as I stop, it jumps back to zero in Titan. And this is exactly what we wanted to achieve. Yeah. The next thing what we need to do, uh, or what I want to do, is if you have ever worked with Winamp in Titan, with Winamp which is installed together with Titan, you know that um, you can control it directly from Titan. So if you, for instance, go to Winamp timecode, you have stuff like um, play, pause, reset, or stuff like that, which we do not have for Reaper or other external MIDI control, but there is a way to to add this. In order to do that, you, you see it in the timecode window as well, so if I go to MIDI, I only have enabled or disabled. If I go to Winamp, I have play, I have reset and, and more things which go directly to um, Reaper. But what I can do in um, in this case is another thing. Um, Oli Waits from uh, our uh, software master from uh, Avolites was kind enough to provide some macros for this. And I have put them into the wiki. We have to look elsewhere, but I will put this in another example in the external control uh, section as well. Um, at the moment we go to the start page Go to custom macros, 
go to examples and there in the area of MIDI M like MIDI you find MIDI machine control download this file here MIDI machine control macros XML here we go and this needs to go into the macros folder on our Titan machine let's have a look I make it larger for you here is our macro file I have just downloaded then we open an explorer window as well again and our macro folder is in documents Titan macros and just drag and drop the macro there Here we go, go to Titan again, go to Macro, View All. Now we see all macros, scroll a little bit down to MIDI. You do not see it right now here because we have just loaded it there. And we have just inserted the file into the correct folder. That's why we go to Macro again click on refresh library and now it has added the MMC macros because the list is so long we can do a little trick we go to the context menu go to search and enter MMC okay so and you see that our list has narrowed down and shows only the MMC macros right now arrange the windows a little bit and now let's now we just need to do a little more thing we go to Reaper again because now we have to enable the MIDI input as well yesterday we only had to do the MIDI output to send timecode from Reaper but today we go to options again to preferences and here you see that I have already done this in the um, MIDI input section. I have my RTP virtual um, MIDI port, which we set up yesterday, and I have already enabled this and enabled it for control as well. So you need to either right click and enable input and enable input for control messages, or uh, you do this again by double click there and then again enable input and enable input for control messages this is what you need to do and now let's have a look what happens if I in Titan yeah, button right if I in Titan click on MMC play and it runs and now I have full control over Reaper, well, not full control, but as as much as I need, so I can stop, I can play, I can pause it. Um, yeah, this is what I wanted to achieve. So I have all the controls I have for Winamp. Um, I have via MIDI for Reaper as well. So today we have achieved a lot. And tomorrow let's go into Hell's Kitchen and uh, we learn something very special about this. Have fun and have a great day.